peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in nature, breathing in that good ass, beautiful prana, baby. How to find your animal spirit guide. Let's go Zodiac, baby. Can I get a hello there? I've gotten tons of people requesting me to talk about the Zodiac, the horoscope. Do I believe in it? And I'm going to share with you what's really helped me along my journey, and that's animal spirit guides. You see, I have a deep affinity with the Native American culture, and they had animal spirit guides. So we're going to go through how they saw the world, right? Because when we talk of the Zodiac, it goes back to ancient Babylon. Uh-oh, ancient Egypt, right? The Greeks called the Zodiac, Zodiacos, which means a circle of animals. Horoscope emanates from the Greek word horoscopus, which means observer of time. So think about it like this. In ancient times, when people had lots of time, they would observe the stars. And in certain periods of the month, animals would do really strange things. No, really strange things. And then they would say, okay, this person was born under this animal sign. Aquarius, let's start with you. Can I get a hello there? Shout out to all the Aquarians out there. I love you. The water bearer. Okay. Now in the Native American Zodiac, you are the otter. What do otters do? Well, they're very creative, very independent. Look, people who are Aquarius, I know, what do they do? They always find a way. Can I get a hello there? You are very unorthodox and that is your greatest strength where everybody can't see it you can that is your greatest strength but at the same time sometimes you might find yourself isolated gotta balance the two let's go to pisces who is the fish in western astrology but if we talk about the Native American animal spirit guide. Who are you, Pisces? You are the wolf. Uh-oh. Oh! Right? You probably see that in a lot of drawings, you see the wolves with the women, right? Because your greatest strength, I'm a Pisces, so I'm going to talk really good about this sign. Duh. <laughs> Is that you're very gentle, generous, sensitive. You live in between two worlds, the world of matter and the world of spirit. And sometimes people tell you all their problems. That's why you're a wolf, right? You go off somewhere where you can be alone so you can recharge. But you see, we have this phrase, a wolf in sheep's clothing. You see, if you are a Pisces, you are a great communicator. But many times, that also involves listening. So people are yapping away, yapping away, and you're just there. You're a water sign, right? You're mutable. But at the same time, never underestimate a Pisces because they are the wolf in sheep's clothing, right? They know a hell of a lot but they act like they're just smiling with you, right? Now, while you are very gentle, at the same time, you have two sides. You are the indecisive Pisces, right? Ask a Pisces, do you want to go out tonight? They'll say, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, uh, no. <laughs> right? So that's what even I'm working on. And I learn it from that, the wolf, right? But, the wolf is very friendly, but at the same time, it can rip you in pieces. Now, Pisces has to learn how to, once again, not be 
on the outskirts so much. You don't have to be a wolf all the time. Aries, you're not getting away. Okay, let's talk about the Aries. Who is the falcon in the Native American zodiac? And this means that you're very confident. You are a natural born leader. Now, a lot of people who are Aries, some people might say they're very pompous. But at the same time, they have a very sensitive side because they believe in themselves, right? A lot of Aries I know, they always know they can do anything, right? So that is your greatest strength. At the same time, you've got to be very careful you don't become too egotistical. Let's talk about the Taurus. Who are you? You are the beaver. Devoted, consistent, hardworking, right? And that is your greatest strength. At the same time, what could happen? Sometimes you have a hard time of expressing yourself. So sometimes you get blocked up in your throat chakra. You're building it all up. And then sometimes you just explode on everyone. What's happening here? <laughs> Let's talk about the Gemini. Okay, you are the deer. Very lively, a great communicator. Look, you are a fantastic rider. Some people might say you're two-faced, but your greatest strength is that you are very adaptable. Now, the weakness lies in sometimes you can be very lazy. Sometimes you see deers just lazing around. What's happening here? Right? Let's talk about cancer, the woodpecker. You are highly sensitive, highly emotional. That is your greatest strength because it allows you to be vulnerable. Now, the weakness could come in, once again, absorbing other people's energy. So you've got to learn how to even go further into your emotional healing. Let's talk about the Leo, the Salmon. You are, look, you have the flair. As soon as you walk into a room, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. You have the glitz, the glamour. So you really have a very warm heart. People love this about you. At the same time, Sometimes you may be considered conceited, arrogant, so you've got to learn how to balance the ego with the heart space. Virgo. Uh-oh. Now, Virgo is very interesting because you are the bear, right? The bear who is very meticulous, who is very orderly, who is very yielding, almost like a perfectionist, very, things have to be done in a very logical way. Sometimes that can be considered as your greatest strength. At the same time, a weakness could be you might be a recluse, you might be very shy, but that can also turn into your greatest strength if you know how to use it. Now let's talk about the Libra which is the crow, the raven, the friendly one that gets along with everyone. Now, your greatest strength is that you are the diplomat. Oh yeah, you can, when the world is coming to an end, you're like, don't worry about it, guys. Can I get a hello there? At the same time, your weakness could be that you are very possessive, sometimes very naive, gullible. Let's talk about Scorpios, okay? You are the snake. Now, a lot of people born under this sign in the Native American tradition were the shamans. You are deeply connected to the ethereal realms, which means you have one of the highest levels of intuition in the zodiac. And that also means that you are deeply connected to the spirit realm. But a lot of this, for you, can be overwhelming, right? So sometimes you can become very resentful of what you know you came here to do. You're always torn in between two worlds. But it's a gift. Lots of Scorpios know what time it is. 
right? And then we go on to Sagittarius. You are the night owl, right? You are the party goer, the adventurer, having, having fun in the club all the time, smiling, joking. It's very hard to find a depressed Sagittarius. Now, sometimes weakness could lie in getting complacent, getting lazy. Let's talk about Capricorn. You are the goose. Very, look, my sister's a Capricorn. How is she? <laughs> Very down to earth. I'm a Pisces, right? And Pisces and Capricorns go so well because when I'm really dreamy, she brings me back into reality, right? You see your goals and you accomplish them. Now, sometimes... The flip side of that, the weakness might be in sometimes you take life far too seriously and you get so involved in the matrix, forgetting the illusion of it. So there you have it in a nutshell. This is what I always love to do is to really go into ancient cultures and see the similarities between the native American zodiac and the earliest zodiac in the temple of Dendera in ancient Kemet or Egypt and see the similarities. Now I always say we are so much more than our star sign and these in actuality are archetypes of who we are. Just like you had the 12 disciples and the sun, you have to become 13. Now all of these star signs, these animals, are parts of your subconscious mind. That means you can tap into any animal archetype and feel that amazing expression. And then just say, can I get a hello there? We are infinite, baby. Breathing in that good ass prana. Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.